Hey YouTube, so I've got a little bit of a different uh, video today. It's uh, been a while since I've done one of these, um, maybe last year, uh, but nonetheless, uh, as you can see, I've got a box full of albums here. Um, I saw a lady online selling these and um, the pictures were kind of vague. There was one picture with about 20 of these albums kind of spread out. Um, and Zeppelin 3 was definitely one of the ones kind of in the picture, which is what really caught my eye was there's some Zeppelin in there and uh, Stevie Wonder, a lot of 60s and 70s artists. So I, uh, that's kind of the era I really like and um, some sucker for those. But anyway, so I, uh, I met up with her and um, checked out a few of them just to, I could tell generally the covers were in pretty dang good shape. So, um, I checked the, the wax on about five or six that I was really interested in and they were all in, um, very, very, very good condition, almost near mint. Uh, but, uh, I would just, you could tell there was, they were played, but, uh, very, 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 very good condition. So, uh, they just need to be, uh, washed a bit. So I'm going to put these through the spin clean later, but, um, thought it'd be fun to show you what was in there. And there was one, that I was extremely and particularly surprised about, and I can't wait to show you this. And I'm actually going to do a separate video on this, um, but we'll we'll talk. You'll know it when you see it. But um, so I'm going to move these over here, and I'm going to just start pulling some of these out here. And I'm not sure the best way to do this. Maybe I will turn them sideways here, and I'll just. Um, Move them down to the side here. So there's old Zeppelin three. Best of James Gang, good stuff. Sean Phillips. Mamas and the Papas, two record, twenty hits. Chris and Rita. Okay, I gotta set these so they don't fall when I start pulling them out of here. You can see the Dell boxes seen better days, so I'm gonna have to mess with that. Grassroots, Three Dog Night. This is a two record set. Surfs up by the Beach Boys, uh, still in its shrink. So you can see the covers look pretty good. I mean, they look pretty solid. I mean, the spines, uh, Bachman Turner Overdrive. Spines look really good. I mean, they were in, so right away. And that's one thing when you're when you're buying from people, you can generally tell. You you usually have got your people that just keep them in like pristine condition. You've got your people that. Um, like don't really care about the covers, but they're really particular about the vinyl. So like the covers won't look good, but the wax looks really good. So, and I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm one of those people where you're not going to lose me on a sale. This one's still in the shrink wrap too. You're not going to lose me on a sale because the covers, you know, unless the cover is just completely thrashed, but if the wax is good, I'll usually pick it up, you know, cause that's to me where that's what I'm interested in. And I apologize. My, chair is a bit creaky and I'm kind of pivoting back and forth to oops, excuse me pivoting back and forth to uh, move these albums down below where I'm at so again, I'm going to try to reposition these a bit just so they're not sliding around too much and uh, they just keep doing it maybe I'll pull from the back sorry guys Oh, and it does it anyway. Fuck it. <laughs> there you go, Janis Joplin. This is one that I've got a copy of, but mine's pretty beat up. And this one you can see is in the shrink. Look, this is one of the ones I checked. It was good. There was a lot of Simon and Garfunkel, which I'm totally freaking all pumped about. I'm a big Simon and Garfunkel fan. Pretty much like all of the the good ones. There you go, Cheap Thrills. This is one that I've 
I've had in my collection before, but um, I don't think I have any more, so I, I will now. Uh, I got a name on the cover, no big deal. My uh, Woodstock is a little bit beat up, so I'm, I haven't checked out what looks like on the inside of that one, but if it's based off of the other ones that I've looked at, then I think they're going to be good. Jesus Christ Superstar. Check that out. Look at that. George Carlin. That's great. Yeah, and I saw this too. Check this out. So she must have been, I guess, a piano player. Maybe a guitar player. Because um, I saw she had some songbooks in here that go with the album. So check that out. It's like literally the music for this whole album. So I thought that was really cool. I mean, that's the first time that's ever happened for sure. But, um, and, th and check this out. Sealed. This is sealed. So I've got the songbook and the sealed greatest hits for Paul Simon. That's not what, what I was talking about earlier. There's another sealed album in here and I just, my jaw just about dropped. Sounds of Silence. Paul Simon. It's a really, really, I mean, you can see it's just solid you know, rock and folk rock and that 60s, 70s era, which again is my, that's my favorite. Ultimately, I paid probably about a buck 75 a piece for these and all. I bought the whole lot and probably ended up costing me about buck 75 per, maybe even less. I haven't really done the math yet, but extremely very, very, very uh, good deal. Carol King. And there's good old tapestry. I have this one, but um, I think this cover looks a little bit better than mine. Carly Simon. More Carly Simon. And even more Carly Simon. Lots of Neil Diamond, too, I saw in there. Make sure. Oh, shoot. Sorry, guys. I'm knocking the camera around when I'm trying to move, move around here. Check out that cover. Haha. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Lots of share. Here's another one. So I have a song book for Beautiful Noise by Neil Diamond. Sorry for the turbulence. Check this out. So, you know, I've got this record, but it's like, a, it's like a sticker. So I don't know if they put that on there. I don't think that was on there before, but this is the one. This is a sealed copy of Vitalogy original pressing. Now the top of it's kind of off you can see here but it's still sealed like it's still the, the it's like the top of the shrink came off up to this point right here but this is a sealed copy I couldn't believe it um, I actually asked her about this and she stated that she actually <laughs> it sounded like she picked this up because she was a big fan of better man and uh, you can see there, 1994. And so I guess she bought this back in 94 because she heard Better Man on the radio. And then it's literally um, 
it literally sat in a box for 26 years. Um, and I'm going to do an unboxing on that. I'm going to, I'm going to keep it and hell yeah, I'm going to listen to it because records are meant to be listened to, but I couldn't believe it when I saw that. I almost lost Stevie there. This is a fantastic album right here and I am super pumped it was in here. So she must have turned some of these sideways. There's Santana 366 bargain bin. Sly and the Family Stone. Diana Ross. That's awesome. Anthology. What's on this? Oh, it doesn't have the track listing. It's like a triple album, though. Cool. Hell yeah. Okay, so I'm going to move these back. Again, sorry for the... I love me some James Gang. That's good stuff. Elton John. I've got a lot of Elton John records, but I do not have that one. Caribou. Rock on the Golden Rock Greats. So this is one of those like, what is it, Columbia House? Yeah, Columbia House compilations. Kansas. 295. I love seeing that stuff. War. Why can't we be friends? Good stuff. I just, uh, I absolutely love getting boxes like this because you just never know. It's like a little treasure box. At least that's how I feel. I know some of y'all miss digging in the bin, so I thought this would be fun to do, especially in 2020. Zeppelin. And it even has like the hype sticker somebody stuck right on there. Edgar Winter. Shrink wraps almost finally seen its last day. I might just pull that off finally. Rod Stewart. And they just keep on coming. the blues and then yeah there's like a whole I think like Chicago's whole discography is in this box and I wasn't lying there's a ton of them <laughs> Bob Dylan hits number two, which is cool because I only have number one. And then another Bob Dylan record. And more Neil Young. Oh, Neil Young. Neil Diamond, excuse me. Big difference. Cat Stevens. There's a lot of Cat Stevens in here too, which I'm cool with. I like Cat Stevens. And the last of them, which is going to be Jim Crochet, which is also I'm completely cool with. 
This one's sealed too. Didn't even know that. I'm gonna unbox me some old school records. How about that? And last but not least, Life and Times. Not bad. So, a couple of song books, three sealed LPs, one of which is a Pearl Jam record from the 90s, which again, all of the seven, 60s and 70s music, and then there's this rogue sealed Pearl Jam record in there. But uh, thanks for watching me thumb through them all. Um, I was just super excited when I saw this, just, just for like the Zeppelin and those alone, but um, ended up being a fantastic haul. Um, they're going to get a bath in the uh, spin clean, and um, I'm going to enjoy some of these a lot. <laughs> so I appreciate y'all watching, and uh, have a great evening. Mm -hmm.